Is that seriously the end of the story? Oh my gosh! Okay. In Toronto, 22-year-old Scott Pilgrim is the bass player for his unsuccessful indie garage band, Sex Bob Omb. He is dating Knives Chow, a 17-year-old high school student, much to the disapproval of his friends in the band, his roommate Wallace Wells, and his younger sister, Stacy Pilgrim. Scott meets an American Amazon delivery girl, Ramona Flowers, after having first seen her in a dream. He loses interest in Knives, but does not break up with her before pursuing Ramona. When Sex Bob Omb plays in a battle of the bands sponsored by record executive Gideon Graves, Scott is attacked by Ramona's ex-boyfriend, Matthew Patel. Scott defeats Patel and learns that in order to date Ramona, he must defeat her remaining six evil exes. Scott finally breaks up with Knives, who blames Ramona and swears to win him back. Meanwhile, Scott proceeds to get attacked by and defeats the next three of Ramona's exes, Hollywood actor and skateboarder Lucas Lee, super-powered vegan Todd Ingram, and lesbian ninja Roxy Richter, while also confronting his own ex, pop star Envy Adams. However, Scott grows frustrated during the process, and after an outburst regarding Ramona's dating history, she breaks up with him. At the next battle of the bands, Sex Bob Om defeats Ramona's fifth and sixth evil exes, twins Kyle and Ken Katayanagi, earning Scott an extra life. Despite this, Ramona appears to get back with her seventh evil ex, Gideon. Sex Bob Om accepts Gideon's record deal, except for Scott, who quits the band in protest. Gideon invites Scott to his venue, the Chaos Theater where Sex Bob Omb is playing. Resolving to win Ramona back, Scott challenges Gideon to a fight for her affection, earning the power of love sword. Knives interrupts the battle, attacking Ramona, and Scott is forced to reveal that he cheated on both of them. Gideon kills Scott, and Ramona visits him in limbo to reveal that Gideon has implanted her with a mind control device. Scott uses his one-up to come back to life and re-enters the Chaos Theater. He makes peace with his friends and challenges Gideon again, this time for himself, gaining the power of self-respect sword. After apologizing to Ramona and Knives for cheating on them and accepting his own faults, Scott joins forces with Knives and they defeat Gideon. Now free from his control, Ramona prepares to leave. Knives accepts that her relationship with Scott is over and, at her encouragement, he leaves with Ramona to try again. Knives accepts that her relationship with Scott is over and... Not true. Who told you? Wallace, duh. That gossipy bitch. You know me. Wallace. <laughs> Scott, we're gonna go to Pizza Pizza for a slice. Call us when you're done. Kind of almost died back there. I'm not saying I wanna go. Hey, we can totally go. You weren't there. They just did a sound check and the acoustics in here are amazing! Would you wanna do that? Because I'm in love with her. All right, that's Scott Pilgrim versus the World Recaps. If you like video like this, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe this channel. We shouldn't even be here. We shouldn't even be here. Come on, man. I'm not playing your little games with me. So, you've been out of high school? Oh, okay. It's your turn. What did you want to tell me? What sucks? Getting killed by that guy. Why him? You weren't there. They just did a sound check and the acoustics in here are amazing! Kim! We are Sex Bob and we are here to watch Scott Pilgrim kill- ah! You weren't there. They just did a sound check and the acoustics in here are amazing! Ah!